Hey everyone, Emperor Tiger Star here. So I wasn't really able to make a video this week because I'm actually been moving. I've actually been moving. So yeah, I really haven't had much time. And I promise you the World War II video is probably going to be here next week. Like I said, I've been moving and I've been really busy. So instead for this video, I'm going to just show you this old atlas I have. This is an old school atlas made by National Geographic with McNally as you'll see on the side. So for those of you who know your maps, then you'll know that's an important name. And uh, this was from, I believe it's the 1880s. Um, I got this several months ago. And it also came with like a weird <laughs> manual on how to use it. Um, so yeah, so something about Made in Iowa. And it also says that it's only 75 cents. So yeah, that's, I mean, I'm sure inflation, that's a bit more than 75 cents, obviously, but that's still pretty good for an atlas. So I just thought I'd just kind of show you the atlas and just show you kind of what it looks like on the inside. It's obviously a little cover, system of geography, you got the fancy little plates. Of course, this was back when you had plates and basically did everything by hand, you know, all the stuff like that. And uh, let's see, what, what was the precise date? Let's see. Oh, 1868, so it's actually older. So this is just four years after the American Civil War. Uh, but like I said, this is like a school textbook. So, you know, there's also like little lessons on the side and like definitions and stuff like that. And so you'll, and, and you know, has the basic stuff like latitude versus longitude. And then, you know, you've got the old fashioned maps and that kind of does it by like region at a time. So there are the general hemispheres. You know, there's North America. Or in the, this is back when they called Canada British America. And of course, you know, Mexico. And you know, you'll notice that sometimes they're too lazy to show the small countries. So like just Central America. And this is after the Central American Confederation broke up. So that's just how they showed it. They also showed British Honduras or Belize as a part of Mexico. So there's definitely errors in here. Because like I said, you know, this was made by hand. Of course, people just didn't have as much information back then. So, but you know, uh, yeah, so and there's like a little zoom in on Canada right there United States and of course like I said this is after like four years after the American Civil War so like some of the places are still territories all of them are states yet of course you know questions on that and then it's gonna kind of go through all the different states and territories real quick so there they see there they kind of distinguish the countries of Central America a little bit and then there's the Caribbean. Let's see. Then there's South America, which, as you can tell, the borders are different because, again, this is 1868. But, you know, I, I always like these old maps because not only are they hand-drawn, but, like, you know, you can tell that, like, you know, the mountains are, like, kind of weirdly drawn on there. Uh, sometimes the coloring's going to be off because, again, that was done by hand. Uh, like those little, little swirly things around islands just so you can kind of locate where they are and kind of measure distances and stuff like that. And they also wear the like areas that like were uninhabited or not uninhabited, uh, weren't possessed by a country. They'll also kind of give its own color. So it looks like Patagonia is a country, but it's not. You know, all that stuff. Oh, and of course, there's Europe. And of course, lo look at that wonderful Prussian border. So horribly drawn. And that Portuguese border is kind of kind of weird uh but yeah uh let's see i'm trying to think uh some oh yeah <laughs> they just call the ottoman empire turkey still um oh, so that's kind of funny. there that portugal looks a lot better but uh yeah and then of course there's a zoom in on the german states which would include the north german confederation by this point but it still kind of shows it as a part of yeah, it still kind of shows them separately. All that stuff, and then there's the zoom in on. Yeah, I guess they're just calling the entire North German Confederation Prussia by this point. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, okay, Prussian Poland. I thought it was calling. I thought it was calling that Poland. That's kind of funny. Um. Then of course you have know, that there. Yada yada yada. It was really funny is that some of these questions are rather. Um, <clears throat> outdated like I can't remember where but like there's one question where it's like this uncivilized country is located here and is known for exporting rubber and you know all, all that stuff just kind of funny like you know just random tidbits like that 
Uh, oh, yes. So this is one of my favorite parts. So the horribly labeled Asia, uh, as we kind of get in closer, you'll notice something. So the, yeah. Um, so uh, but this is back when spelling was a bit different. So instead of with a U, they just use double O's for everything. And that's kind of funny. And you'll notice on the side that India used to be called Hindustan. And again, they're doing it with the double O's instead, which, you know, I just find it really funny. That's like that. Uh, yeah, once again, they're kind of too lazy to label every country. Oh, yeah, before this was called Indochina, it was called Farther India, which I always thought was kind of interesting. Uh, and, of course, there's Africa. It's before the, uh, the colonization of Africa, so there's not really too many countries other than the colonies along the coast and the few African states up north. And Basically because we didn't know about as much of the interior of Africa yet. So any states that were there, we just didn't know. So as you can see, they just kind of assumed Ethiopia had all of that. So yeah, I guess back then they thought Ethiopia was that big, which is kind of hilarious actually. Oh, I know, because uh, there's Abyssinia, which is also named for Ethiopia. So I guess this is, I guess they just use Ethiopia as a general name for the interior of Africa. So uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the Sahara Great Desert instead of just Sahara Desert. Of course, and then, of course, there's, you know, what's left. The Pacific also hasn't quite been colonized yet, except for Australia and New Zealand. So they just kind of called all of that Polynesia. They didn't have a separate Micronesia yet. Uh, so, yeah, and then, let's see. Just kind of more questions. Ah, uh, yes, and then there's a map of the world. But uh, yeah, so that so basically that that's pretty much it. Just kind of a few more world maps and then old statistics on the back, where this was back when the United States only had 30 million people, which is a little bit smaller than Canada today, and all that stuff. And then oh yeah, cities. So let's see, let's see. Uh, that's by state, capital, countries, capital. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah, so uh, just statistics in the back, and there's the very old binding, and that's what the back looks like with the stain that was there when I got it. But yeah, so I thought this was a really cool atlas, and uh, again, sorry I couldn't have a video this week, um, but you know, I've just been super busy. I promise World War II comes next, comes next week, but I just kind of wanted to show you this old atlas that I've had for a while. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.